Hello and welcome to your weekly Excel tutorial with Dave. Today we're going to talk about repeating rows and columns on your printed pages without having to literally repeat them in your document. So we have here these dotted lines which are actually indicating page breaks. We have page 1, 2, 3, and 4 so that I can clearly demonstrate what happens for both rows and for columns. We have our header row here and we have our name column here. So let's get started. Go to Page Layout and then click this Print Titles button. Print Titles will actually give you this, uh, which you can also get to through popping out your Page Setup menu and going to your Sheet. Uh, so you also notice that their header, footer, margins, and page are also in here. So if I click Print Titles, they also pop up. So let's continue on. Print Titles, you get to this menu. Uh, here, Rows to Repeat at Top, click on this button, and click on your row, and then click this button again to go back. Now columns to repeat at the left, click on that button, click your column, click here. Hit OK, and it's that simple. So now let's go see what the results are. Uh, go to print, and you'll notice your print preview here. We have our header column, our header row, we have our name column, both in this particular sheet. So page one of four, that's fine. Page two, we get the two new records, and we continue to have all the information on the left. But here we have our page three, which is the right-hand side of John Doe's information and Susie Q's information. So we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, etc. And now on page four again, you notice that the headers stay, and so do the names. Uh, in this case, we have the next two records with our Jane Doe and Jake Sample. So if you found this video helpful, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or send me a message and I'll get back to you. Thank you.